Hey guys, hello, hello, how are you doing today? Today I'm going to do a review on the Sound Logic um, 3 component Bluetooth speaker. It's a light up wireless Bluetooth speaker. So here's a, a clear view of the product, a quick specs, some info, a complete view of this product. As you can see, they all come differently, but they all appear to be the same thing. Well, as I'm preparing to unbox this, I'm going to be explaining all through the way how this little unit of technology works. Okay, so we're going to start with opening this up. Oh, by the way, the reason this is opening quickly is because I opened it early. But I just want to let you know what's inside it. So. Once we open the box, we get a USB data cable, but this one is a two component one. It has a USB entry and also an aux jack. It seems these speakers come with this certain type of cable unit because this unit goes to your speaker. But you can always buy one like this just if you want to charge your, your speaker. But in case you want to use your laptop, you have to plug this USB to your laptop and at the same time your aux jack so your speaker will charge properly well this is what comes in it some instructions by the way if you wanna know a bit more of your speaker I recommend read the instructions but in this solution is just a review so if I don't read it it's because I already read it but once you get your own you should be aware of what is what is in this content well let's put that to the side and here we are and Here's the speaker. As you can see, there's nothing more in there but the speaker itself. As you can know, this is how it looks like from first specs, the top, the speaker, and all this area, it lights up when you turn it on. And as you can see, here's the charging port and the jack. You want to turn this into a, a, a direct um, jack unit. You want to connect this speaker directly to your device with a wirelessly wirelessly charging charging connection or connecting it wirelessly through Bluetooth you want to just use it randomly quick you just plug it in but well, I'm going to show you really quickly how this little ingenious speaker works as you can see here's some buttons to operate the speaker manually without the use of your phone and right here we have the power button the speaker and a CD micro USB micro CD card unit port. In case you don't have your phone, but you do have your CD card, you can just you can always plug in a CD card in there. And if you have music in it, once you plug it in, you turn your unit on, click play, and it will it will go all through your songs in your CD card. But in order to operate that function, as I say, you turn this on, you go to mode right here mode and you click until you receive a certain mode but that's why I'm telling you you should read the instructions they should explain clearly how to operate the city car port and well the mode you click the mode to operate different functions and you click play to go through your songs uh, okay guys so as I was saying in order to use your city card port you must go to your modes until you find the proper mode that activates the function once you have obtained the proper function you click play and it will start playing through a few of your songs into the mode this control panel is like your phone but you will be going through these two control buttons to function but most days you should already get it so as you can see here's a USB port, this is for connection as well, you want to transfer some information from the speaker to your laptop or any device that uses USB ports, but it also, you put your charging, this USB port here, and this here, and this is the operation function. And this plug it into I don't know 
So the device stays compatible with this type of board. But this is usually you want to convert your speaker. In this, you can directly connect it to any device that's compatible for this, like a, a laptop or those old fashioned Microsoft or Polaroid tablets which use this port. Not mostly, you may be familiar with it, but these are old fashioned ones. They, they were way common way back then. So, but in case you don't have any device that uses those ports, you can always find a, a jack, a jack, um, a jack point or a jack cable it uses jacks jacks plugs and you just plug it like this and you have another one like this you can always plug it to your phone I don't have one available right now but you mostly may be familiar with what I'm talking about well as you may all be aware this speaker lights up when you turn it on I can show you that I can show you that in a few minutes well as I was saying, this is this is also a radio. This is a radio speaker. You can use the same cable up right here, but this time you do it this way. Let me show you. You usually plug this port to this port right about here. Your finger pointing, and your USB. You plug it to a power source like a let me show you a power band like this or a charging core or charging block box like this one like this one to power <sighs> sorry about that guys in other words in order to use this unit as a radio you must fuel power to this USB port to your speaker and have the speaker on at a certain mode and then you go to your power panel you click mode until radio configuration starts working and it's simple to move to change to change radio station you just click forward or back or well, the back skip buttons which are quite convenient this speaker unit and that's about it when it comes to this but when it comes to this speaker unit well most of you may not be aware but this speaker is quite economically cheap easy and portable and fast chargeable and it's simple this little box here cost me five bucks five bucks Plus taxes is all subtotal to six bucks in total. It's a cheap and economical speaker, which I recommend to all of you. From my own experience, it has worked out pretty well. Well, as I promised, I'm going to show you how to operate it or how to connect it wirelessly to the phone. I could show you both modes, but since I don't have the proper cable, I won't be able to show you the direct unit. But most of you should be aware of that or how to operate one. But Either way, most of you may know how to operate it wirelessly, but since I want to show you that it glows as I promised, I'm going to connect it wirelessly to my phone. But in this case, I'm going to connect it to a newer phone, which I got. Most of you may already know, be familiar with this type of phone. It's the LG Stylo 4. It's quite a huge type of phone, and it gives you a good view of the size proportions. Sorry if I didn't review this phone, but most of you may be familiar since you have seen quite a few reviews about it. It's quite huge, and here, and to show you that it's the phone, here's the pen for it. Let me try to see if I can get it out. Here we are. Here's the pen. And let me get it back in. It activates the menu function, so. But most of you may be familiar if you have reviewed this phone. It is. Okay. I'm going to go through my settings to activate the Bluetooth phone. We go to settings. Go to Bluetooth. And we click on. Well, first let's turn this unit on. 
Okay. Let me put this phone down for a second. And let me show you how you turn this thing on. As you can see, here's the power button. As you can see, it glows. Okay. And let's search it up. It should pop right away. There it is. Is the sound logic light up speaker okay? We should be pairing right away. And congratulations! Oh, some mistake happened. We're gonna connect right away. We're connecting. It Okay, we're successfully connected to this speaker unit and we're able to call and use media audio as you can see. Let me play a quick little song for you. But of course we have to be quite careful. We don't want to attract too much noise. I live in an area where, where, where my neighbors are quite sensitive about music or noises. So that's why I was using headphones instead of my speakers. I do tend to have quite a few, but I don't use them often because I do not want to attend the attention of unwanted. Well, we're gonna hear this one, but Ch Chevrolet, whatever. This band, okay. We're gonna we're gonna give them. And that should be it for today. Well, sorry guys about that. I was quite interrupted. Well, here's a cute view, a quick view of the product. I put it back in. Sorry if you must have missed the Well, sorry if you didn't hear the speaker function, but if you did hear a few sound, it was the speaker. I didn't show you the full capacity, but so far it's good. Well, that's about it for this speaker. Hopefully later on in the future you can test it yourself. But for six bucks, it's a nice speaker. I couldn't test it out because you know it's too late. But I hope you buy it yourselves. It's quite affordable, so I give you a, a good chance to try it out. So far it's good. And subscribe and like this video and comment and click on the notification tile and take care, guys. That's about it.